Oh, oh no! I Alright, you beautiful peoples of the interwebs, Glyn here, Cheapskate Gaming. Hold on, my camera's not faced. That's better. We can see each other now. So, Cheapskate Gaming, and in today's weird and wonderful world of games, we're checking out this game, Sinner. And I think it's got a longer title, actually. It's called Sinner Sacrifice for Redemption. Okay? Now, what is this? Quite simply, it's a Souls-like game, but it takes out all the um, running around... Uh, killing all the NPC type stuff and all that and just focuses on bosses uh, let's just show you okay the game's very hard okay um, I've had a good I started playing it last night I nearly killed one boss so it's one of those okay so there we go look my guys just woken up on the tree it's quite nice graphically now it will hammer your graphics card depending on what card you got. So I'm pretty sure you can turn down some of the settings, but it is nice looking. The NPC is a little bit, um, I don't know, dull looking in a way. So essentially, you go to one of these trees or uh, stones, Glenn. They're stones, mate. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. You go to one of these stones, and then what you do is you can um, on that one. You can see I can recall. So let me just. Uh, retrieve my sacrifice we'll go to a different stone because i'm gonna die whichever one i go to so we may as well show you so uh hopefully that wasn't too loud so you go to any one of these stones of a circle come on glenn you've said that three times now right and then you press recall um i don't want to do that one i've tried that one let's try a new one recall so you put a sacrifice and what it does you can see over there somewhere on the bar health bar it might take a bit of health away It'll, it'll punish you in some way. Number of potions decreased. Healing rate decreased. Okay, so it's decreased that. Okay. So now, now you can either just remove that back off and you get all your potions back. Or you can go to Atonement. Now Atonement, buff, look, it opens up a little portal. And essentially now we're going in to a boss fight. Sorry, it was very loud then. I noticed on the, um, the audio mixer. Oh, here we are. So we're in the... Oh, God, where is he? Oh, God, look at the size of... Ugh. Now you can run. And you can roll. Whoop. Oh. Oh, well, he absolutely ruined my day. It's got very loud as well. Absolutely ruined my day. So you can just go challenge again or retreat. So fortunately, there's no reloading now. If you want to challenge again, it just puts you straight back up against the enemy. Um, and we can, we can retreat back out of there because I'm going to retreat out. Not because... Oh, pussy, which I am anyway, because I want to show you how much we can get this for. And you're going to be very surprised, okay? Very surprised. So we're over here on Aniba. £3.52? No, we can do better than that. 78 pence, okay? And that seems to be able to go in right. 78, 78, 79. Let's have a look at little other offers. So, yeah, it does go over a pound eventually. But you're getting it from top sellers are selling it for around 79 pence. So just under 80p for this game. And it's actually, I think it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Is it as good as Dark Souls, Demon Souls? Is it as good as the, um, I can't remember, the new one that came out. Uh, I did play that, actually. The new um, crazy one. Is that Life of P? Of course not. It's not as good as those. It's an indie developed game. But... I tell you what, as a good, it's a good um, practice game in between playing the newest ones. Lords of the Fallen, that's the one I was thinking of. That's the one I've, that's the one I've played recently at Lords of the Fallen. Now, yeah, it, it isn't quite got the sort of weapon choice. Now, I do believe once you finish all five bosses, you'll open up a new, um, is it five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven bosses. There may be an eighth hidden one. 
you never know. Um, but once you've destroyed all those, you will actually get a new weapon from over here. Um, so just look forward to that if you're that, that way in skilled. We're going to go and fight the big fire boss because uh, this is the one I've started to learn his technique. That big fatty ice boss, I haven't got a clue what his technique is. Oh, my defensive power is lost. That's not good, is it? That means if I get smacked, I, I'm going... I'll be going to hell. Right, we're going to see if we can do this boss, or at least do most of him. So I did start playing this last night. Oh no, my controller's decided to do a... No, controller, please don't. This happened to me last night, right? I nearly finished the boss. The controller decided to have a funny five minutes, and it walked off the edge into the lava. I was, uh, I was a bit cross. That wasn't the game's fault. Uh, here he is. Come on, boy. Watch out for that beam. Never good when he starts putting them things out. Quite an interesting boss fight, actually. Oh, my controller's gone. No, no, stop doing this. I don't know why my controller's been doing this so much recently. Oh, I got away with that one. Oh, oh, he knocked me for six. Oh, he took one of his knuckles off. We're hurting him now. Can we do him? Oh, we're down to the final stretch. Things are going to get close here. Oh, I didn't expect an that. No, no more of them. I'm running out of space as it is. Oh, 
Oh, oh no, I rolled the wrong way. He punched me off. Oh, I got close that time. Wow, okay, so there it is. There's Sacrifice. Sinner of the... Sinner, is it Sinner's Sacrifice of the First End or something? Oh, that had me right to the end. Why did it face me the wrong way? Oh, it faces you right back at him. Right, we'll stop there. We'll retreat back out for a little bit of peace and quiet because it is quite loud. Um, so there we are. So check that game out. It's only 80 pence. See if you can get through all eight boxes. Um, I think once you master it, I think it takes a few hours just to get through them all. Um, I've, like I say, I've nearly learned out the technique of that boss. Not quite, though. It would help if my controller stopped letting me down. 8-bit, though. What's going on? It could be a USB problem in my PC. I'm not sure. But anyway... This has been Glenn, Team Gaming, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye, guys. Cheapskate Gaming, yeah, you know the name. They got the games that won't break the bench, so come on over and join. Look or they'll show you how to game and save money, too. Cheapskate Gaming, yeah, you know the name. They got the games that won't break the bench, so come on over.